Hello and welcome to episode 102 of Teen Mom Trash Talk. I'm your host, comedian and Reverend Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my co-host, Noel Winters Herzog. That's me. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp, Modern Fertility, and Circle. We're here to talk about season eight, episode six. It's called Momcation. We're going to get into that in a second. I just want to let everyone know that there are is bonus content on this podcast do you know that noel i know that how do you know um because you tell me all the time oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty good reason guys we are on patreon p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash teen mom trash talk and that is where you can find our bonus podcast our bonus content we have some videos we have an entire other podcast recapping season two of unexpected that's right we have a secret Facebook group where no one calls you bad words. It's the best safe space around. You guys. can post whatever you feel and no one attacks you. It's true. I posted the pajamas you bought me the other you day. Did. In there. You did. Uh-huh. We have a lot of fun in there. Uh, guys, if you join at the $8 level, you're going to get access to the secret group. You're going to get a free sticker. You're going to get access to every single podcast that we've posted so far. We have well over 60 episodes now of our bonus podcast. So excited. That's amazing. We also have merch for sale. We have some leftover t-shirts from the live podcast. We have some larges and some extra larges. Uh, Go to uh, Instagram and you can look at our pinned. Is that what it's called on Instagram? Uh, A pinned The featured story. Yeah, the featured story. Yeah, and we have information on that. Uh, Or you can go into our our group and we also have... uh, pop sockets pop sockets. i love my pop socket okay my pop socket is on my phone i Same. play with it every day even when i'm nervous i just find i just myself hold playing my around phone with by it. the pop i know socket. me too all the time it's like i'm dragging a child by their neck <laughs> oh it's good oh wow well. we have stickers <laughs> for sale we have buttons for sale guys make sure you're contacting me if you want any of these things we also have guess what's coming up noel guess what's coming up I think what? it might be our live show. Our live show. Uh-huh. We have a live podcast October 19th at Caroline's on Broadway Yay. at 3 p.m. Tickets go on sale next week. Boom. You guys better come. Oh, wow. Um, also, I want you guys that like live close to us that didn't come last time. I want you to come to this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll come. I might lay uh, down again from being like that's scared, fine. but whatever. Caroline's on Broadway has the best air conditioning and that's all I have to say. We're about a parka that. guys. <laughs> <We're> a parka. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, so we're here to talk about season eight, episode six, momcation. The ladies take their first girls trip together in 10 years to Florida Excited for a chance to be away, Caitlin breaks the news to Nova, who doesn't take it well, while Macy plans a birthday surprise for Amber at a drag show. None of that happened. None of that happened. Okay, cool. <laughs> so let's start off. Uh, this is going to be like a mishmash. Yeah. A modge podge, if you will. It's going to be a modge A motley podge. crew of information. Yes. All Macy right. uh, is like, hey, Taylor, we're all going to go to Florida. We're going to go to Boca Rica. Boca Raccoon? Ra- Boca, ra- Boca Bud Light? Boca uh-huh. Ratatouille? Uh-huh. uh-huh. Boca r- okay. r- Rabbit? Boca, uh, there's going to be drag queens. Anyway, though. we're going to Florida. Yeah. <laughs> we're going on a girl's trip. It's been 10 years and Taylor says something super funny. What? He goes, yeah, well, when you go, I'm going to be three kids and afraid. That's funny. <laughs> That's actually really funny. So she's like, we're going to go to a drag show for Amber's birthday. She's like, do you know what drag means? And he's like, he's like, I mean, I'm not right. slow. I mean, what's, what do you think is wrong with me? Right. He's like, yeah, men and they dress up and she's like, yeah, but they dance and sing. <laughs> and she's like, you never know what'll happen when we're together. Um, you know, you do know, you know, that- I know what's going to happen. You guys just sit around and talk about trauma and anxiety <laughs> attacks all the, t- the whole time. <laughs> she's legit trying to get him jealous i know and he's like doesn't care because he's like shit i'm gonna have all these kids yeah he's like this is terrible right you can cheat on me all you want but i'm just not right oh my god so now cheyenne changes her hair every episode yeah i didn't like this that would hurt my scalp yeah it's to change my hair so much yeah i didn't like the braids though but whatever she has a rider necklace right yes in a handwriting yes then she has a rider tattoo yes what else could she possibly have? And then she has a C necklace also. It's very confusing. It's like oh, I thought it was a, a moon. No, she's got a little C for Cheyenne. Oh. Instead of a moon. Oh, I thought it was a moon. 
that's horrible. I thought, I thought it was a crescent moon. No, it's a sea. Oh, uh, really I like that she's like, there are many cults of moms. That's what she called the girls. Yeah. Well, that's she funny. wasn't wrong. But also, they're not very mom like. They like, aren't very mom like. And I'm surprised she was as nervous as she was. She wasn't. Come on. I know. This is a show. This is the worst show ever. And then she's trying to do like the live well and prosper, the Star Trek yeah. thing. I come in peace. Yeah. And, they did? Oh, my God. That was the worst conversation. I know. It, it was so forced. Oh, you can tell them you come in peace and love because you have a tattoo of a heart on your hand. Right. It's like, oh. You know what her tattoos look like? Bad. It looks like she drew on herself with marker. Yeah. It looks like she was super bored. It was like the last day of school where they roll the TV in. Uh Uh-huh. It was really hot. And she had a Sharpie. And she drew all over herself. Those are my favorite days in school. Me? Those are the bad. I would just lay my head on the desk. Right? And just sweat to death. Yes. But then you're just watching something. And no matter what it is, it's the best thing you've ever watched. And you have to go home and go to sleep because you're so exhausted from the heat. So exhausted. You ever play um, 7-Up? Of course. Yeah. I don't yeah. I don't know if that's like a real game though. Like why did we do that? That was just like it's be just quiet. It's a school game. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't... I mean, nobody's at home playing 7-Up. <laughs> we should play 7-Up right now. You would want to play Pepsi though. I want to play Pepsi with extra ice. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're playing Pepsi right now. So uh, I am just saying I am. I'm playing cherry Pepsi. Cheyenne feels like an outsider. Woogie. Let me tell you something. She has, so she has the rider necklace, the rider tattoo. Mm-hmm. She probably has like a rider shirt. All she wears is high waisted sweatpants. I know, but you know what though? Or drawstring pants. Her rider yeah. stuff, like her rider merch yeah. is like things that matter. It's like her TTM. Yeah. No, you're right though. You're so right. She's like, I always have to have something that says rider on it. I don't know. It's, a, it's, it's just, like in case she gets lost at the zoo. Her wardrobe annoys me. She she dresses like Kylie Jenner. It's just always sweats and high waisted. Yeah. Cause yeah. She, and crop, super crop tops. Yes, exactly. But you remember she's like 12 years old. How old is she? I don't know. No one she's, knows. Uh, she's, I think she's, because the other girls are what, 28, yeah. 27, like around there. And I think she's younger than them. She's probably more like 24. Right. Maybe. Um, I'm not sure how Corey, how old Corey is even, but we haven't been watching them for 10 years. They're so new that yeah. I don't, I feel like I don't, I just don't know them that well yet. We don't know them at all. Yeah. Who are you people? Who are you people? Oh my God. Um, yeah. Well, let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. They talked about trauma, anxiety. Yeah. Postpartum. Not mm-hmm. postpartum depression, no, just, just postpartum. postpartum. And you know who they really should be talking to? Who? An online counselor. That would be wonderful for them. Like I've been doing and you've been doing. Yes. We've been using better help. And let me tell you about BetterHelp. BetterHelp Online Counseling is there for you. You can connect with your professional counselor in a safe, private online environment. It's so convenient. Let me tell you something. It is so convenient because I'm having my session tomorrow. Right. And it gets at 4.30 and I video chat with my counselor. You video chat with I your video counselor. I video chat. I usually do Mondays at noon. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Anything you share is confidential. If you're not happy with your counselor for any reason, you can request a new one at any time. But I love mine. No, honestly, we clicked right away as yeah. soon as him and I met. I Well, you online Well, not met, met but we online met. You can uh, use your desktop. You can use mobile, web, Android, iOS apps. Um, I just download the app onto my iPad and I use it on my iPad stand because it's easier for me. But I've used it on my phone as well. I use it on my laptop and mm-hmm. then I use it on my phone. Nice. It's secure, convenient, professional. Financial aid is available for those who qualify. And best of all, it's truly an affordable option. Teen Mom Trash Talk listeners get 10% off your first month with discount code Trash Talk. So why not get started today? Go to betterhelp.com slash trash talk. Simply fill out a questionnaire to help them assess your needs and get matched with your counselor that you will love. That's betterhelp.com slash trash talk. Awesome. My fave. Okay. So oh, let's move on. Let's move on to Amber in this episode. Okay. okay. So Amber's like, oh my God, Andrew, I'm going to be gone for two to six days. I've never left baby James except for the time that I left him with the babysitter. Right. And then the other time that I left him with the babysitter and that time that um, a neighbor stopped by and then I ran away. And then I ran far away. And then away. the other time when I left him with Gary and Christina. Uh-huh. And then the other time when Gary and Christina thought they were just watching him for an hour and then we left mm-hmm. uh, and we didn't come home f- till the next day. <laughs> Can you imagine? Do you remember that when she was in California yeah. and Gary and Christina are staying in a hotel mm-hmm. and she's like, Hey, do you want to watch James? And they're like, yeah, sure. And then she's like, do you want to keep him overnight? And they're like, okay, I guess we have custody yeah. now. Do you think that eventually Gary and Andrew are going to have to co-parent? 
I mean, maybe <laughs> it's possible. So she claims it's the longest she's been away. Now, is she calling the baby Bubby? I think so. I thought that was her brother, though. So is there only two nicknames? Uh, Bubby and Boo Boo? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you think that she's... Okay. This is what I'm wondering. <laughs> okay, so you know me. how her mom, Tanya, has uh, a drunk accent, Yes. Right? <laughs> Tonya. Yes, Tonya. Do you think that... What's her brother's real name? Do we know? Sean. Okay. Do you think that she was trying to say Sean and she was like, Mommy! <laughs> Bobby. Yeah, that sounds just like Sean. That's right, but she's drunk. <sighs> yep. And just like she was trying to say Leah. Yeah, and she's like, Mom, the baby's name is Leah. And she's like, Bobo? Bobo? She's like, Leah. She's like, that's what I'm saying, Amber. Bobo. 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 Yeah, that's what happened. Yep. Say, say Sean. Bobo. Say, say Sean. Sean. No. Oh, what? Mommy. Oh, no. I was saying Sean, so you would say mommy. mommy. So maybe that's what it is. I like that Andrew goes, we're going to practice our Cirque du Soleil tricks <laughs> while he's holding James. <laughs> I thought that he's like, she's like, what are you going to do while we're away? We're going to practice our Cirque du Soleil tricks. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. <laughs> they rent the biggest house ever, ever in the whole world. So anyway, let's go to Caitlin. She says that... <laughs> I can't even say this with a straight face. Okay. Getting away is an important part of avoiding postpartum. Mm -hmm. Of avoiding the afterbirth. (laughs) Avoiding Uh life after a child? Yes. Caitlin. She is a moron. They're all (laughs) morons. Like, but Amber says it too. Postpartum. 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 Okay. Well, guess what? Maybe they could talk about that with her better help counselor. Yeah, really. So... Caitlin goes to pick up Nova because she's like, oh, right. I have she a kid. She was wearing a leather baseball shirt. Yes, she was. I have on a baseball shirt today in ode of her, but it's not <laughs> leather. Thank you for doing that. Uh-huh. So she picks up Nova and she's like, hey, Nova, what's going on? And Nova is hysterical. Yes. She's like, no one likes me. She, basically, Nova was me. Nobody wanted to play with me. Nova was right? me. I know. But also people are complaining like, why is Nova always crying? Because she's a baby. She's a kid. Yeah. I mean, kids really do. They're not the best. Yeah. No. I mean, they're annoying. Yeah. They're yeah. very annoying. Um, yeah, I know. And then someone's like, my two-year-old doesn't cry like that. It's like, well, then you have a very special two-year-old because yeah. I screamed the whole time. <laughs> I've been screaming. I remember. Tracy still screams. I know. I remember like when I was in high school, my mom was like, I have never had one day in my whole life where you didn't cry. Like not one whole day. You're like, yeah. Uh-huh. And guess what? It's still same. the same literally same yeah i cried on the way here today did you why i was just very emotional i don't know <laughs> i felt very emotional i had to poop <laughs> i just <laughs> felt like uh i felt matt didn't feel well he was at the hockey rink he oh, threw no. up oh, and it god. was just like so many things i felt very sad oh my god yeah well, I'm glad you're okay i felt now. way better afterwards though <laughs> oh good uh-huh so she picks up nova and she's basically in tracy mode she's like yes. no one likes me mm-hmm. no one wants to play with me my upper arms make me insecure <laughs> <laughs> And she's like, oh, my God, how funny is it that I'm leaving and not coming back? Right. And she was and Nova's like, like what? what? Now it just adds to my terrible day. Are you kidding right. me, Mom? Right. She's like, no, I'm going to come back. Just kidding. I feel bad for Oh, that my kid. God. She's I like, know. do you remember when you went to rehab? Was that not enough of a vacation? Like, how many of that? She's like, do you, you remember when you went to rehab, came home, <laughs> gave me a high five, and then went back and to rehab? And then went back to rehab and left me with daddy? Yeah. Just the whole time. And all he does is make me grilled cheeses. All he does is make me grilled cheeses and, ha- and sneak guys in the house. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to make me pick fabrics for Tierra Rain. <laughs> Uh, he let me design the entire line yeah, he let that would de- explain it though maybe no it would also explain the house he probably de- <laughs> she probably designed the whole house too <laughs> that interior is she's not like good. you know what we should do in the dining room daddy let's have a picnic bench yeah let's which is the worst thing to ever sit on ever ever let's have a the cow skin rug Right. And the hardest couch I've ever seen. You know seen what we should do? We should put um, those big spikes that they put so pigeons don't sit down on ledges. <laughs> Let's put that as the flooring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right? Uh, this is what happens when we do the other podcast first. I I'm know. like delirious by the time <laughs> this one comes. True story. So I got to tell you so Nova's like hysterical. Right. Kate's like smirking. I know. She likes it. She's like, what's that? You need me so right. much? You love mommy. You don't care when daddy leaves, right? You just love when mommy is mm-hmm. there. I oh, know. and then she talked about that with Tyler. Yeah. She's like, oh my God. 
I was like, daddy's leaving. And she's like, who's daddy? Right. Like, I don't care. She's like, I don't give a shit about daddy. Yeah. And it's like, I, uh, she's like, she only cared about me. She, but you know what? If that's what helps her postpartum, <laughs> then that's, you know, that's what it does. True story. Yeah. All right. So let's go back. They rent the biggest house in the world ever right on the water too. Okay. But how, why was that house even so big? I don't know. Bougie. Can you imagine how much it would cost to air condition that house? The ceilings were like, they were so, they were like 30 feet high. Yeah. Yeah. There were a million. That was actually, I measured them. There were a million. Oh, okay. (laughs) So Macy opens the door to the house and goes, is there beer? Mm -hmm. And then Kate goes, is there food? And it's like, so tell me, you know? Hmm. And Amber's like, is there Xanax? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Cheyenne, is there writer merch? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So now everyone is drinking, right? Mm-hmm. They're having a little drink fest, mm-hmm. which is hilarious because two of them have substance abuse problems. I know. How great was that outdoor kitchen? Okay, that was my favorite part of that whole house. They walked outside and I was like, whoa. Yeah. Look at this thing. That was beautiful. Yeah. So now they're like, let's go to the grocery store. Mm-hmm. Tell me about the grocery store. I'm going to tell you that tell um, in the freezer section. Yeah, what happened? There was a wall of pastosa. Yeah. And uh, I didn't know that they sold pastosa in Florida. They do. So. Well, they sell it here in my grocery store. They do. But I didn't think in Florida. Pastosa, you guys, is like this New York. We I go to the pastosa store and they it's have a ravioli like store. homemade ravioli, rigo- uh, like homemade pasta. ricotta, managot, pasta, pizzas, like Should everything. Should I translate that? Yes. Ricotta, uh-huh. manicotti, uh-huh. ravioli. Uh-huh. What else did you say? Uh, oh, they have fresh mozzarella. Mozzarella. Uh-huh. So they have all this, <laughs> and it's the most delicious stuff in your life. If you have that in your fridge section, and you're like, hmm, what is this? I guarantee Just you. buy it. You'll eat it. it. You'll love Just it. Put it in your face. Mm-hmm. Do it. So at this store, I was like, wow, that's nice. There's paparazzi. There's paparazzi. That and, was um, paparazzi. That was fake paparazzi. That, and it was any excuse for Amber to to have attention on her. Right. So I really enjoyed this scene. Okay. I'm going to tell you why. Tell me. So Amber's like, oh my God, I'm feeling so angry. Anxious. Someone just bumped into me with their card. Right. And they're just shopping. And she's like, guys, I don't know if anyone could hear me, but I just said I was very anxious. Right. And she keeps going. Um, I feel like I want to yell at that person. Should I yell at that person? Right. And they're like, what? what Can are you we just talking check it out? About? Right. She's like, hey, they're guys. all ignoring her. Yeah. And she's like, hey, guys, Um, I don't know. My anxiety is pretty bad. I get like that when I basically don't beat the shit out of someone. Right. And they're like, oh, okay. She's like, should I go back in and beat the shit out of that person to right. see if it makes me feel better? Do you think that it would make my borderline better? Yes. Because I'm feeling like... I'm feeling s- super borderline. I feel unipolar right now. Yeah. <laughs> and I think I have to go fight the lady that... I mean, yeah. So what if she's 85? Right. And, you know, she bumped into me by accident. I mean, an accident? I don't think so. It's like... Okay. When you're anxious, yeah, do you act like that? No, that's I just the cry. opposite of how I, just I act when I'm anxious. Or you know, or I would just go outside. I would go outside. Just go outside. Yep. Instead, no, you're angry. You're not anxious. You don't know the difference between being anxious and being angry. You're angry, and you get angry over nothing. Over everything. Well, yeah, over nothing and everything. Right. So she's crying now in the grocery store. A little right. Bit. There's a little bit of crying. Cheyenne's like, get me the hell out of here. Cheyenne's like, hey, when I said that I was nervous about going, I was just meant I hate Amber. Right. Right. <laughs> So now she calls Andrew and she's like, hey, do you want to talk about my anxiety? And he's like, I mean, not really. Right. But here we are. Um, Her double ponytail. That was dramatic. And it didn't look good at all. It wasn't great. No, it wasn't great. I wasn't. It's her hair color, too, that I don't get. It was like two orange are ponytails. So yeah, it was just orange ponytails. Very, very bad. Mm-hmm. How did you feel about Caitlyn's black lipstick? And her tiny little baby lips. I mean, Caitlin is silly. She's like a parody of herself yeah. sometimes. She really is. And she, but you know what? Her and Amber both dress so old. They dress like they are golden girls. Gonna step out onto the, uh, what did they call it? The what? The. <laughs> li- the- <laughs> What do they call the porch on the Golden Girls? The lanai. Oh, oh the uh, lanai, right? Is that what it was called? Yeah. yeah. That you're right though. They look like they're retiring in Boca Raton. <laughs> yes, they really fit it. It's uh like when you see Amber walking around and she's got like that 
meshy, but like crocheted doily like like duster on. Yes. Yeah, it's like what are you doing? With like fringes, like a fringe yeah, kimono. It's exactly, a fringe kimono. Oh my god. Uh so Kate said something kind of bitchy. What? To to Cheyenne. I don't know if you picked up on it. What? So they were talking they were sitting around at the table and they were talking about like, oh wow, this was a really fun trip and you know, when the guys go on their trip. Mm-hmm. And she's like, yeah, maybe one day we could all go on a trip with our partners. Right. And she, and then Kate looked at Cheyenne and said, you can't bring Corey just because she's Ryder's dad. Yeah. That was mean. That was mean. Hey, Kate, why don't you, Mm -hmm. um, let Tyler bring his partner. Right. Then Kate uses my favorite hot sauce, Cholula. That's what I use. She did not put it down the whole time. Yeah. She had a lot of it. She carried it around with her. I love Cholula and I was feeling her on that, but she uh she is mean and i've heard her say before that like amber everybody thinks amber's mean but amber's actually really nice and she's mean kate i can kind of see that totally can see that cheyenne though was like not eating she was very like when they were sitting there eating she's very like checked out she's very like standoffish well i don't know amber just tried to fight an old lady at the grocery store that's true too (laughs) but so when they took those shots of tequila Uh uh-huh that's how you know cheyenne is like real she didn't flinch she didn't flinch. Yeah, no. Definitely. They da- and she was like, that was good. Meanwhile, I would die. I would hack on the floor. Yeah, I would too. I would be like spinning around. I'd be like, I need something. Hurry, hurry, hurry. You would be like, water. I need water. I need water. I need, I need water. water. I always need yep. water. Now, we have anxiety all day. Amber has anxiety. 24. Mm, she anxiety has all day. Anxiety. Amber, Amber, Amber anxiety. Postpartum. This, these are my notes. Oh, yeah. She has to explain Amber her diagnosis. anxiety all day. Postpartum. So, But she can't explain borderline. Okay. So here's the thing. She says, so Cheyenne's like, hey, listen, Mm -hmm. I didn't watch this terrible show before I was on it. Right. This is basically what she's saying. Can you just tell me what's wrong with you? Right. Because this is annoying. Uh Uh-huh. So just tell me what's wrong. Because I don't want to have to Google what's wrong with you. You're just saying words. Yeah. So she's like, all right, well, first I have postpartum. Mm -hmm. She's like, so you had a baby. She's like, so you had a baby like everyone else here. Okay, cool. Next. She's like, okay. And then I was bipolar. She's like, but I didn't believe it because that year was the year of the bipolar. That's funny. Cause Amy, I, she's right about that though. And everyone was bipolar that year. She's right. And that's why I, I struggle with believing of these she's things. like so i was like i don't know if i really have that she's like and then i have borderline personality disorder because i had trauma that's what i mean so she's like okay and she's like so borderline personality disorder is when you have trauma and a bad childhood and it's like well then i have borderline personality that, yeah that's disorder. not what that that's means not what that means at she's all like, yeah it means like when your mom can't speak like like okay for example let me just give you an example here if your brother's name is sean and your mom pronounces it booby because she's so drunk <laughs> Uh, that can lead to borderline personality yes. disorder if your dad is a wax statue <laughs> and has a long black ponytail <laughs> and a beard to match that can give you borderline personality disorder mm-hmm. when you bang your brother's friend mm-hmm. and he blows a load in you and you get pregnant that, that can give you borderline personality disorder You're an idiot what that was funny it's so crazy because all of these girls have kids and you've been thinking about having kids yes why um i matt really wants to have kids and i have to tell you now that i'm getting older like i really it it's so much more appealing to me now and i think it took me really falling in love yeah well that's not really my business to ask you that <laughs> but when to start a family is a completely personal decision. Some women want kids now, like you. Others want to wait 10 years, like me, or 20. Okay. We all have the tools to prevent pregnancy, but we need more information to help us plan for it, even if the kids are in the far, far future. Mm-hmm. So no matter what your plan, the one simple step you should consider taking today is an at-home hormone fertility test from Modern Fertility. Okay. So we both have ordered tests. We use the website. Yes. Very, very easy. And we loved it. We have tests coming. And Modern Fertility ships your kit to your home. And you can get physician-reviewed results in just a few days. I'm really excited. Noel, cost-efficient at $159. Modern Fertility gives you access to the information you need to help you plan ahead. The same tests are over $1,000 at the doctor's yes. office. And guess what? You can use your FSA or HSA spending accounts. Amazing. 
connect with a fertility nurse, join their weekly webinar, and participate in their active online community with women just like you. Modern Fertility gives you the knowledge and information you need to make the best decision. Let me tell you what else. Tell me. I will tell you. The test can tell you if you have more or less eggs than average. Okay. What you can expect from IVF or egg freezing and how your hormone levels relate to PCOS, which one in 10 women have, which we know because Macy has it. Yes. And I'm honestly interested in that. And it also tells you about your general hormone health, which is another thing that I'm interested in. Interesting. Me too. It's a window into your broader health. That's what it is. That's, you know, all of your hormones are. Let me tell you something. Visit modernfertility.com slash trash talk. Take their fertility quiz and get $20 off your modern fertility test. That's modernfertility.com slash trash talk to take the fertility quiz and get $20 off modernfertility.com. Awesome. Yeah. So, well, let me tell you. <sighs> Amber's got all the trauma. And then she says, I've always been nuts though. Mm-hmm. And she said, if I wasn't, uh, if I was on meds back a long time ago, nothing bad would have happened. Um, well, that's not true. And we're going to talk about that later. <laughs> is that what she said? She said, if I was not on meds, I yeah. thought she was alluding to if, if Andrew had been in her life, none of that would have happened. Meaning just that if she did, wasn't, you know, if she had taken care right, of her, right, her I mental health. right. She doesn't want to open up. And right. I don't know. It's just really weird. So now she has to FaceTime. Uh, Cheyenne FaceTimes Matt. In a turtleneck. <laughs> it's in Florida. Dude, what you're is in Boca Raccoon. It? Right. <laughs> what is You're retiring. Like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> this That's the thing. Like, she's in a turtleneck later. Uh, Amber's in a hoodie. Like, I'm like, what's happening? So she FaceTimes her boyfriend Matt, Cheyenne. Yes. And she says, uh, hey, do you miss Ryder? I know. It was weird. Like, I don't know. Does he call her? Like, is she going to call him daddy now? Right. Ridiculous. She's trying to make it awkward. <laughs> That's uh-huh. what's happening. She says that she's an awkward person. Which... Let me tell you something. Ding dong. Ring at the bell. ambie has got some flowers. ambie has got flowers. Ambi is so codependent. And that's another reason why she was having a nervous breakdown. Yeah. She has the tackiest flowers in the world. Oh, I know. They are like 1-800 flowers. They're I not know. even creative. Mm-mm. And basically, can I read you the card? I have it here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hi. Hi. I love you, Amber. And I love you so much. And I love you, Amber, so much. I love you. Love, Andrew. Oh, okay. What the So hell? she wrote it to herself. <laughs> Whatever. So now they go on this boat, right? Mm-hmm. And all well, that water looked weird. Really? Yeah, it was like a pond. I feel like that was like... Like the outlet. Oh, Like the inlet. Maybe. Is it inlet? Yeah, an, an inlet? Yeah, an inlet. Not an outlet. No? It's an inlet. The outlets where you shop? Yes. The inlets where you boat? Yes. <laughs> Good girl. Jeez, I am like a genius. Mm-hmm. They didn't teach me that in reverend school. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Uh, I love Cheyenne's bathing suit. I loved Cheyenne's Me bathing too. suit. But if you notice something about this episode, which you might realize now, so they film them going on the boat yeah. and then later on they film them go getting on the boat. Going on the boat and getting So they film the them boat. on the boat already. Yes. The, in their bathing suits. Oh, yeah. And then Amber comes out to get on it. Is that what no, you No, no. And then in another scene, they film them. They're like, okay, we're all going to get ready and go on the boat. But it's the same. Oh. Yeah, you'll, oh, you'll see it. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. So she gets the tacky flowers. The water looked extremely, I don't know. Inletty. Very inletty, very outletty. It's just like letty. <laughs> very letty. Kate had posed part with Nova, but not with Veda. Right. Okay. So she's still pregnant with Veda? Yeah. Apparently, I don't know anymore. Okay. So now Kate flexes big time. Why? Tell me. She goes, you know, Nova really does like being a big sister. You know, she likes when I take her out to ride her horse because we got her own pony. Uh huh. I know. Meanwhile, back at the back pony at the ranch, ranch, Tyler's got a pony on a string, right? And he's whipping Nova around in Meanwhile, a circle. Tyler's the one taking her out, but whatever. So she starts crying because she misses Andrew, and she's talking about how great they are together. Okay foreshadowing 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 here's the thing what 
uh, the only thing that she I can relate to is because it took me like a little bit. Like she's like, I'm not used to nice things. So sure, like, that I someone, understood. Yeah, but that's when, not really what she was. No, saying. No, but like when she's like, well, you know, when someone treats me nicely, I don't really know how to react. Like I don't know how to react either. Like I get that. That sure. was like one of the only relatable things ever. Totally. Mm-hmm. So. Kate's like, you know, Andrew's so great. I used to call him behind your back when you were sad. Right. And she's like, wait, why didn't you tell me any of this? Right. She's like, I'm getting angry and I want to fight you. Uh Uh-huh. I'm going to hit you with my shopping cart. Oh, my God. Oh, it's like, shut up. And then she starts crying. Okay. So she hasn't taken her medicine in two days so she could drink. Oh, so none of the medicine. No, none of the medicine. So none of her postpartum borderline bipolar she's not taking any of her medicine because she wanted to drink and now she's starting to withdraw so she she's said, having withdrawals from antipsychotics she's shaking uh-huh. she's but like, don't I'm, worry because you had that pinot noir yeah and don't worry because like that's not the reason i was having an anxiety attack it's because the woman smashed me with her cart mm-hmm. it's not because i didn't stop I taking to my medicine. Her. right good job so now kate's like listen i get it it's hard mm-hmm. it's really hard and then taylor comes through with in the clutch and sends an edible arrangement which i think is a way better okay. gift. way better if someone sent me an edible arrangement right now i right. would devour it yeah because i'd be like i can't eat these flowers yeah no i can't eat them and they're also ugly they were ugly yeah. i'm just saying cheyenne said that she doesn't care who Corey dates i mean cheyenne is saying that because she has a boyfriend but also she doesn't mean that Correct. Okay, so now we wake up in the morning, right? right. And now we're going to go on the boat for the first time, aka uh-huh. the second time. Right. And Amber is struggling. And mm-hmm. Kate was a very nice mom. Uh huh. And I'm going to tell you. Tell me. She went into Amber's room. Mm-hmm. She's like, Ambi Bambi. Mm-hmm. Boo boo booby. Boo boo booby. You need to take your medicine. Mm-hmm. And you need to relax. Mm-hmm. And you need to have a little bit of relaxed time. Mm-hmm. And I want you to set your timer and then, uh, then you could, you know, get a little bit more ready. Yeah, that was great. And I was like, wow, that was really good. Kate's, but a lot of parents do that for a lot of different reasons, like setting the timer on the kids. I didn't know that. Yeah. And you know what? Another thing that they do to like, they use setting the timer for internet usage. No way. Yeah. Noel. Every kid right now is on their iPad. Well, that's true. We did not have that. We didn't have any of that when we were younger. Parents struggle to make sure that five more minutes doesn't end up being five more hours. Which I imagine it is. You know what you could do? What? You circle to set limits and even end the screen time debate with your kids once and for all. That's great. Kids face a million online distractions. Mm-hmm. Fortnite, Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube. The list Fortnite goes on. Fortnite is huge. Yeah. All these kids like it. Circle makes it easy to take childhood offline when needed so they can focus on homework chores or bedtime or you know what noel they mm-hmm. can go play outside yeah that's great for them our kids are your kids buying apps they shouldn't signing up for social networks they're too young for sophia mm-hmm. with circle you can rest easy knowing that they're safe inside the guidelines that you set it's the easiest way to manage your family's online time across all the connected devices inside and outside your home with Circle Home Plus and the Circle app, parents can filter what content is allowed, set limits for screen time, and monitor history and usage. You can keep track across every connected device from laptops, phones, tablets, smart TVs, streaming devices, and video game consoles, all from one app. Awesome. Each family member has a profile that's fully customizable to their needs, age, and maturity. You'll never stop worrying about your kids, but with Circle, you'll have one less thing to worry about. Right now, our listeners... Get a limited time offer of $30 off a Circle Home Plus when you visit meetcircle.com slash trash and enter trash at checkout. That's right. You can get $30 off when you visit meetcircle.com slash trash and enter trash at checkout. This is a limited time podcast exclusive offer. So that's meetcircle.com slash trash and enter trash to save $30. That sounds amazing. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. Set a timer. All right. It forces you to. Kate was a really nice mom, though. She was a very nice Kate mom. She made really her take nice. her meds, right? right? That which is exactly what she needed. Now, Macy already said, "I don't want to talk about Ryan," and she talks about so Ryan. she's like, "So what's up with Ryan?" Mm-hmm. She's like, "Well, he has a 
ton of anxiety. Mm -hmm. He's having post-traumatic stress disorder. He's having anxiety leaving the house. He's shooting heroin. No big deal. No, I know. I, I, I think that that's pretty normal, though. People have a hard time adjusting when they get well, out yeah, of jail. Yeah, because of course. also Amber said that Leah had a hard time when Amber got out of prison. Yeah, I'm sure. Leah also like is like, bye. Yeah, I mean, Leah she's like, that's care. not my real mom. Right, that's, that's not even my real mom. Right. But Amber said that most women that go to pr prison, they don't even keep up relationships with their kids after they get out of prison. No way. Amber, you are the best. Amber, you're such a good mom. Honestly, the fact that you even talk to that girl, uh -huh. <laughs> you are killing it. Uh -huh. So Macy wants Ryan to talk to Bentley. What do you think about that? Um, See, here's the thing. I, it's not that I'm against Ryan speaking to Bentley. I just felt like last week it was like on the episode, he had just gotten out right. of jail. And it's like, he was just him, having his second jail barbecue. Right. Give him a second to adjust and be able to, maybe he has to get his thoughts in order. I mean, not that he looks like he has many thoughts, but you know what I mean? Like, what do you think um, the thoughts are? Like, uh, 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 I want chicken uh, for dinner. I like the dog. Right. <laughs> Mac, you look pretty with that hair. Like that's it. He's Time anyway, baby. So, but yeah, I think I I get her wanting Ryan to speak to Bentley, right? But I also feel like is Ryan really capable of having an adult conversation? No. As terrible as that sounds, no. You know, he's not. He. I feel like he is he not. He's not forced to talk to anyone like an adult. But he also right. He talks to Bentley like Bentley's his peer. And I feel like it's almost almost would be better for like Mackenzie or Jen and Larry or someone to explain it to right. Bentley, you know? Oh my God. Yeah. So they go out to the drag show. Amber looks like so much fun. And that's why I hate that she's such an asshole. I know. she, But it's so funny how her anxiety went away. She went on stage on the drag show. Yeah. No, but that's be, it's BS. They had the penis cake. Mm -hmm, she licks it. Yum. Mm-hmm. You I heard like that, that that's the best cake It ever. is a very good cake. I heard it's such a good cake. Amber wore the same thing on the boat that she wore to the show. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm saying. Like, they only filmed, like, one day of this. Yeah. Cheyenne's like, listen, I would love to do this trip again. Right. But you know what? Foreshadowing. Amber's going to be locked up, so. That's true, too. Yeah. And then all the girls come home, and Kate gives Nova a big open mouth kiss let me tell you something mm, mm, mm. <laughs> you and i are like i find myself to be like fun i right. find you to be fun um not really so wild but right. you know i like to go out sometimes and have a good time but that was the most boring friggin trip ever ever, ever. you and i go away, i like we the have... boat part i feel like you and i could be on a boat like that i would love this to go on that okay. boat but just yeah, with no one sure. else though. no 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 just us we would have had a great time on that boat yeah. but like I don't know. Also, to me, those drag shows are so cliche. It's like so bad fun, bachelorette though. party. The cake is fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, let's get into the gossip of this. Let's do it. The meat. Noel, you're going to die because I don't even know if you know this yet. Oh, tell me. Okay. So according to the Ashley, Columbus County says that David Eason won't face charges in regard to Janelle Evans dog's death. Former teen mom two star now claims she made up the dog shooting story for publicity. Stop it. Stop Tell it. Tell me how you feel. So then, uh, I'm sorry, genius Janelle. Where's, where's the dog? Where's the fucking dog? Probably on vacation. <gasps> what is wrong with her? Is she that brainwashed? <gasps> yeah. Oh, my God. Guys, I'm not even being dramatic. I have, like, chills on my arms. Like, that makes me feel sick. Yep. There's something wrong with her. And the fact that she has children that live with her and she's this sick in the head is terrifying. Yep. He'll kill all of her kids and then she'll defend him for it. Yep. Mm -hmm. True. I can't story. believe I have like a stomach ache. I can't believe that. Nugget has never been found. And the mysterious white powder was just powder. Remember when she had the powder sent to her house? Yep. Okay, well, let's see. What else is going on here? Um, we have some big news. Team mom Amber Portward makes first post-arrest court case appearance, and she's ordered to stay away from Andrew and son for now. Mm -hmm. So do you guys know what happened? Tell me. So there was a suicide threat, a shoe, a machete. 
uh, there was a terrifying night of uh, July 4th into July 5th mm-hmm. that Amber Port would, was arrested for domestic battery against Andrew Glennon. And she said all she did was hit him with a flip-flop. Apparently, she tried to attack them with a machete. I read the story um, about him like being in the office. Yeah. And he has his foot against the door and she's hitting the door with, with the, the machete. machete. Yes. I was horrified. I know. And then he left the house with the baby and drove around for three hours and then brought her home a snack. And she was still infuriated. Yeah. And honestly, Noel, I mean, that would have worked on me. <laughs> we, but we like that. it's, he has to treat her like she's a child. Yep. Uh, as you guys know, or may not know, Janelle got custody of all of her children besides jace obviously back oh she's saying all over the internet she's gonna have jace very someone soon. asked her hey are you gonna get jace back and mm-hmm. she goes yeah just not right now right but like soon and then somebody was asking is she is barb gonna have visits with jace and she's like we'll see uh-huh well that's not even true so she's it's such fine. a spiteful bitch. what do they call her uh delusional yes yeah yeah true story Andrew also, uh, going back to the Amber story, filed for full custody of son James following Amber's arrest. He should take James and move back to Malibu. You know what? I want to go. Yeah. I mean, I want to go too. I want to like go to passages or whatever it is. Well, Cheyenne and, and Cheyenne and Janelle got into a little virtual. Yeah. What was Twitter. that about? Um, I mean, what isn't it about? No, I know. Um, I saw that. Uh, I basically just saw that they had been going back and forth. And I'm sure most of it was just about David and Janelle saying, you don't know what you're talking about. You're a new person. Right. Yeah. Well, whatever. That yeah. happened. Yeah. Uh, we didn't talk about it on last episode, but ironically, Gary mm-hmm. got sworn in as a police officer the week before the arrest of Amber. That's so crazy. Um. I, a lot of people are commenting saying, how could Gary and Christina go there with Amber? Like go to court with Amber. What do you think about that? So Gary and Christina, if you don't know, Gary and Christina were there to support Amber or at least showed up to the court case. So I think Gary and Christina had an ulterior motive. And I think that they're there because that's the only way they'll get a true answer and the truth, the truth, right? Knowing what exactly was going on, what the story was. So they, sure, they go there to support Amber, Amber, but I don't think that they, I I think that that's the way that they're going to get the real story. I kind of agree with that. Definitely. Uh, big news. Mm -hmm. Ryan and Mackenzie Edwards expecting their second child together. Oh God. Uh, Oh, Oh, <laughs> wait, Noel. how do you feel about that? Oh, it makes me feel so bad. So much happened last week. I know. Wake up, people. Wake up, sheeple. <laughs> <laughs> Things funny. are happening out here. It's crazy. Guys, make sure you're following us at Teen Mom Trash Talk on Instagram, Teen Mom Podcast on Twitter. You could follow me at Trixie Tuzini on Instagram and Twitter. And you could go to TracyCarnazzo.com for my upcoming show dates. Noel, where can we find you? We, you can find me, Noe underscore Bear810 on Instagram or at Noe Girl on Twitter. Okay, guys, until next time. Bye. Bye.